Good morning. May God be with you this morning. Isaiah 53 verse 2 says, My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. We are living in a moment in which we need to share the message of the gospel in a simple way that all may understand. We need to share the gospel like Jesus. Christ met the people where they were. He spoke the truth in the most powerful language, the language of the humble. The most ignorant was able to understand. Through faith in Christ, the most exalted truth was understood. No one needed to consult the doctors of the law to understand Jesus. They were not left embarrassed for lack of understanding of the parables that Jesus taught because he spoke in the language of the people and in simplicity. The greatest teacher the world ever had was the most simple and practical in his instruction to the people. Even though the priests and rabbis were educated and in this they based their credential to teach the people and even question the Son of God, he declared them to be ignorant of the scriptures and of the power of God. It is not the knowledge of great works of man that open to us the mysteries of the plan of redemption. The priests and rabbis had studied the prophecies but had failed to see the precious promises of the coming of the Messiah the way in which he would come, of his mission and his character. Those who thought themselves to be trustworthy due to their wisdom did not perceive that Christ was the Prince of Life. The rabbis looked with suspicion and disdain to all that was not clothed in worldly wisdom, national exaltation, and exclusivity of religion. But the mission of Jesus was to oppose those evils, to correct those ideas, and to reform the faith. He called the attention to the purity of life, to humility of spirit and devotion to God and His glory, with no hope of worldly recognition and glory. He was happy to see the poor of this world receive the message that He brought. He raised his eyes to heaven and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. We need to learn that this is the way to share the gospel, with simplicity, tenderness, and love. We need to seek the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are for this, so that our hearts will be tender, It is then that we will have the fruits of the Spirit, among them, love. May God bless us. May we be filled with the Holy Spirit and the love of God, so that we can share that love with others. Being filled with the Holy Spirit, may we have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We will meet again tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day.